Hello, welcome back to Web Squadron. Um, I just want to quickly show you a free plugin called Max Buttons, which I think is super, super useful, and you are probably going to end up using it on your website. What does it do? It allows you to create a button that you can add anywhere on your website. Because, I'm, yes, I know you already have the button with the Elemental, so why would you use this? But it's, it's just a simple case of what if you want to create a short code for a button that you want to install somewhere else. Let me explain. So let's just go to pages over here and I'm going to go to test slider. Now this is a testimonial slider, okay? Uh, basically I'm using it to create a carousel of within of the testimonials. So let me back up a bit. The testimonial slider already is a carousel. However, what the testimonial slider does not come with anywhere within the options or the styling is the option to add a button. What we're going to do here though, by using max buttons, we can now stick some short code in, which allows us to have a button within every carousel. So let's say we've got a carousel that is showing example websites. You can have a now have a button that says, take me to the site. So they can just click it and it takes them to the site or it might take them somewhere else. How does this work? Let's just go back into our dashboard. What you need to do is install a free plugin. It is a very basic plugin, okay? It's not gonna add in any additional extra features that you just don't need to know about. Max buttons, okay? Uh, over a thousand five-star reviews, well, a thousand reviews, and it's hitting five stars. 100,000 active installations, and this is free. Install it, activate it, job done. Then what you'll see, on your left hand side, you'll have a max buttons option. Click that and go to add new. Let's add in a button. I'm just gonna call this button, yo. And this button is gonna go to, uh, where will this button go to? So let's just go to uh, a website, let's say, or anywhere else, internal, external, wherever you want, okay? And this is where you can start to mess around now with the sizing, the styling, whatever you wanna do. You know, you can even uh, change the border radius, you can change the, the color of the text when it's normal or when you hover, what is the color of the background when normal and when you hover over it. It's up to you, loads and loads of things you can do. What you do is once you've created it, you hit save. It will then give you an ID. You can either pick the ID up from here or you can go to max button, go to buttons and pick it up from here as well. It's up to you. What you can then do is go to your page. Let's go back to test slider, okay? And if I go to uh, my testimonial slider, I go to item one, okay? What I've done is in the name box, and you can put this anywhere. I mean, look, let me just make a point. I'm gonna put it in the name box. I'm gonna put it in the title. And I'm also gonna go to this content box, which has got lots of HTML in because I was doing it for a reason. I'm gonna add in some uh, breakpoint there and add in another breakpoint as well. I know loads of people go, don't do that, don't do that. I'm fine with breakpoints, let it go. I'm gonna add the button there as well. So now, in fact, let's just get rid of one of those. There we go. So I've added it there, 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 there. I can add it wherever I want. I now click update, okay? I now preview the page and I do that there. Yeah, I just need to mess around with the breakpoint. Sorry about that. But what we now have is three buttons. These buttons are now present within the slider. Look, it's there. And I could have as many, I could have five buttons over here and two over here. I can be totally independent over what I want to show. You know, I mean, the buttons don't even have to be that big. You can change the size of it, the padding and the content within it. But the idea behind this is now is that I have a carousel using the testimonial, but I've got a button within. And when I click the button, it's going to take me to wherever I told it to go to. Let's just back up there. So. This is using max button to create a button that I can stick into another widget. That is awesome. I hope you like that. Please subscribe and I will see you soon.